Hey, what's up everybody? If you have a deck or a patio that you would like to enclose, can you see the lattice there underneath the screened in portion? Hopefully this video can help you out. Our deck used to look like this. It had nothing, it was completely exposed, and obviously we stored a bunch of junk that was quite unsightly, and I did feel very uncomfortable storing my lawnmower, just kind of having it sit there. So here's what it looked like. Here's some views for you, including underneath the deck. And we decided to screen in the porch, so I had already enclosed the deck. Uh, so let's get a closer look at the enclosed part of the deck. I'll show, I'll give you a tour and kind of walk you through how I did this. Now, obviously, your deck set setup might be a little different or look a little different, so you'll have to press pause and maybe maybe take a look at how I did things. But um, this is the outward product. Obviously, we've got a frame. I've got one by twos here that are painted and some lattice and you can see um, I put up some fabric, some landscape fabric on the inside so you cannot see inside from out. So that provides a little extra security, if you will. So let's open it up here. I've got a little latch system that locks and I just picked this stuff up at the hardware store, obviously. I have a, a frame for the door that I built, but this is the coolest part. Let's take a look at the roof, so to speak. I got some of these tin sheets and again I got these at my local hardware store and I had to use some tin snips to cut them down to size but notice the screws here they have these waterproof ends to them so that when you screw them up into the 2x4 or into the joist on the uh, other side of this they secured and it's it's basically my irrigation system so that one water and snow enters into my screen in portion of the deck you can see right there the water can go down into those cracks and it drains completely down and it basically runs out to the end this way of that of that tin and it exits right there so it provides a little irrigation for the f for the garden and the flower bed too on the other side of this uh, so that's been really nice it's basically a weatherproof waterproof enclosure so my you know my lawnmower and whatnot does not get wet so again just a different look for you here at the lattice and the little frame that I built there's that landscape fabric again and the door. Here's the hinge unit. Everything's pretty sturdy, I'll say. It needs a fresh layer of paint. It, this is about five years old. But here's how I framed the door. And I basically treated lumber, uh, two by fours mostly. And I built a wood frame all the way around. as much as I could there. There's some more shots for you on the inside. There's that landscape fabric. Now it does, the wind does penetrate that and blows that off. I have not figured out a great way, although I haven't really tried to make sure that landscape fabric stays on. It does kind of peel off. Here's the gravel. I put down some black plastic sheets and then some gravel on top of that. Let's continue the tour here. Let's get a look between that exterior frame and the interior frame. The lattice attaches to the exterior frame. And you'll just cut that down to size and attach it. And then I've got a couple of trim pieces here just to hide that angled tin, my irrigation tin behind. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. Um, it's one of the best things that I have done. It provides a great look to the screened in porch frees up a lot of space in my garage, and obviously waterproofs all of my lawn tools and lawn gear. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. For more do-it-yourself projects and real home product reviews, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for being with me.